What's going on everyone, it's JDC here, back in another video, and today we're going to be talking about the biggest problem for the Houston Rockets and how they can fix that in the future. But before that, really quick, I'm going to need you guys to drop a like down below, press the subscribe button, it really helps with the algorithm, help grow the channel to other people like Houston Rockets content, and help grow the channel in general. So I'm going to need you guys to hit the like button down below, press the subscribe button, and let's get into the video. So... Today, the Houston Rockets lost against the Indiana Pacers, 124 to 132. I'm not going to do a, a full game recap because that would take too long. So, But I will give you some uh, pretty standouts. John Wall had 31 points, but put up 28 shots, only making like 12 of them. So, pretty horrible efficiency from John Wall tonight. Olenek had 25 points, you know. We all know what Olenek can do. That's basically Larry Bird 2.0. And it was a really good all-around game from Olenek. Christian Wood had 25 and 13. We already know Christian Wood. His past few games has been really good for us. Uh, so definitely good to see that Christian Wood is feeling more comfortable after that injury. And definitely good to see him ball. Kevin Porter Jr. had 19 points today. Pretty inefficient from three. Shot two of seven. Uh, which is something he, needs, he definitely needs to fix. But, you know, he's 20 years old. So he definitely has some time to improve. And Jason Tate had 11 points, 6 rebounds, and 5 assists. So, good all-around game from Tate. Pretty good game from basically everyone today, especially like Armani Brooks, who had 6 points. Uh, so, uh, it's, uh, you know, losing. Definitely something that uh, we need to do, but it just hurts every time we lose. So, you know, we're coming back stronger. We have another game against the Denver Nuggets on uh, April 21st. So, Definitely excited to see that, you know, Jamal Murray's out and, um, you know, it'll be a good matchup. So let's get into the uh, biggest problem for the Houston Rockets, which is the fourth quarter. Now, uh, the fourth quarter for the Houston Rockets is definitely something they need to work on because they're very, they always make some fake comebacks, if you will, but they never follow through with them. And what that means is that they always try to make a comeback in the fourth where they always get within single digits and they basically just let them go. And uh, they'll pro the other team will win by basically like double digits. Like today, they almost won by 10. But, uh, you know, other than that, like, you know, the fourth quarter, we're not consistent. And uh, our three-point ball was, a three-point shot wasn't dropping today in the fourth. We were getting a lot of turnovers. There was this one play uh, where Jay Shante was bring up, bringing up the ball. And he was looking for our money brooks in the corner, but then just absolutely threw it in the, in the off-balance. So definitely something we need to fix and you know we need to lower our turnovers today because the amount of turnovers that each starter had today was pretty unbelievable especially from Kevin Porter Jr. who had four turnovers so uh other than that like we just need to be consistent with the ball and just scoring because today our scoring wasn't or definitely not scoring but today our like shots weren't just dropping in the fourth like Avery Bradley missed a bunch of threes that could have been made easily so that's something we need to fix definitely but also that like our offense becomes pretty stagnant when defense when uh, opposing defenses play good defense on us like there were so many times this game where we were just stuck at the three-point line and couldn't drive the ball so definitely something we need to fix you know Silas needs to make some more plays some more smart plays to get you know someone open or someone open in the corner like Armani Brooks get him a three-point shot or get KPJ some pick and roll action with Christian Wood or just run some Christian Wood plays in general because Christian Wood doesn't get enough plays and it definitely shows because in the fourth quarter he doesn't sh he didn't score that much in the last few games but uh, definitely something uh, we need to fix with our offense and uh, we also need to give John Wall less shots because this guy's putting up 28 shots in a game and only making 12 that's definitely a hindrance to us and something that could definitely um, be a negative in the future moving forward so John Wall needs to relax with putting up 20 shots in a game and you know he needs to you know relax and give the other guys some more opportunities to score so and, you know, other than that, uh, there were some pretty bad calls this game. Um, a lot of times where John Wall would block Karis Avert, and then they would just call that a foul. Like, that was literally all ball. I don't know if the refs are smoking, you know. Maybe they're just tweaking or something. But, you know, bad. there was a, a lot of bad calls in this game. But, you know, it's not just that. But it's, it's literally like the whole team needs to be consistent because... Um, once when our scoring and our three point shots aren't falling, we're basically not scoring because our offense is basically stagnant and uh, we can't get to the hoop uh, for a two pointer. So, the, uh, if we fix our offense, if we make it more free moving, more freely, then we can definitely get more opportunities for uh, more shots. You know, get an Armani shot like I said before, or you know, get Kemper Jr. in the pick and roll, or get Christian Wood in the in the in the post and post up 
or get Kelly Olynyk in the post because he's he has a good post up game. But you know, overall, this wasn't a bad game from the Houston Rockets. But in general, the fourth quarter for us is definitely detrimental and something that we could definitely fix pretty easily. But other than that, these fake comebacks are pretty good for us because honestly, it gives us a chance to see um, the development of our young guys and you know, kind of see you know, the team play good. But even though even though we're playing good, we're gonna lose. So, and I think that's what every Houston Rocket fan wants is that we want to lose but also play good at the exact same time. So. Definitely good to see these fake comebacks, but it would be nice. To, it would be nice to win like once in a while, like so. You know, a uh, pretty good game from everyone, and um, you know, definitely got to fix that fourth quarter problems. But that's the end of the video. If you guys like the video, drop a like down below, press the subscribe button, we help the algorithm, help grow the channel to other people like Houston Rockets content, and help grow the channel in general. So, I'm out. Peace.